I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question which is based on Bayes' theorem. The question here is, the number of balls in three urns is as follows. Urn number one has three red balls, two white balls, one black ball. Two has two red balls, one white and two black. And the third one has four red, two white and three black. One urn is chosen at random and two balls are drawn. The balls drawn are red and white. What is the probability that they came from urn 1? Right. So, so what has really happened is that you have just at random picked up one of these urns and two balls have been drawn. Right. So, and we also know the result of this event. So, the event here is to draw a white ball and a red ball. Correct. So, that is the event. And what we not want to know is what is the probability that it came from urn 1, right? So that is the case. So in this case, you'll find that there are only three urns. And since the, the ball has, the urn has been chosen at random, their probability is one third, right? So we can say that the probability of picking up any urn, which is either u1, or u2 or u3 it is equal to 1 over 3 right so these are my urns u1 u2 and u3 now second case is we know red and white balls have been picked now we need to figure out that in our event what is the the probability of picking the red and white ball from the urn one that is what we need to figure out so this actually defines the event that means uh, red and white right and that is from urn one right so so that is the event so what is the probability of picking this from the first urn. So the probability of picking this from the first urn, we are picking one red and one white, is equal to, since the red is picked from three reds, right? So 3C1 times white is picked from two. So 2C1, correct? In all, there are how many balls in this? Three plus two, five, one, six. So let's write total also here. That will help. Three, two, five, and one, six. 4, 5, 4 to 6, and 3, 9, right? So, so let me just draw a line here. Okay. So that should help. And total number is 6. We are picking up 2. So the probability will be, this will be divided by 6, C2. So that is the probability of picking red or white from the first one. Similarly, the probability for picking from the second urn will be what? So from the second one, so out of two, or one red ball times one out of one. And we have total five in this case, and we are picking up two. And so the probability of picking up red and white from the third urn is, there are four here, right? So four C1 times white is 2. So 2C2 two two divided by total is 9. So 9C2. Nine correct? So that is what it is. So you can find all these values, correct? So so this is uh, 3 times 2, 6 and let's calculate uh, 6 and 6C2. Six okay. So let's calculate these values, right? Uh, so 6 C2 is 15, right? So you can say 3 times 2 6 over 15, which is, you could divide by 3. So you get 2 over 5, okay. So here uh, we have 2 and 1, so it is 2, right? Over 5 C2, that means 5 times 4 divided by 2, right? So 5 times 4, that is 10, right? So that is 10 for us. And so it, you could write this as 1 over 5. Okay. 9C2 and 4 times 2. So this is 4 times 2. 
and this is 9 times 8 divided by by 2 right okay so this is 4 and that goes so it is 2 over 9 correct so so that is how you could get their individual probabilities what do we need to find we need to find the probability that they came from an one so probability that the source for this was an one right the source for this event the output was one so we'll keep that in the numerator which one is that with the very first one which we calculated which is 2 over 5 right so so that is equal to we have 2 over 5 in the numerator and divide by sum of all right so the sum of all so I change the color so that it is easier for us to manage so we have 1 over 5 plus okay 2 over 5 I should have written first anyway 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 2 over 9 so that is your answer right so that is how you get the <coughs> the probability that it came from an 1 correct so now you can use your calculator to find this out so we have 2 divided by 5 and this has to be divided by within brackets 2 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 9 bracket close equals to 18 over 37 perfect so that is how you could actually calculate your answer so I hope that helps correct if calculator is not allowed normally the calculator is allowed this is not a very difficult calculation to do perfect okay so I hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for watching and all the best